Hi, Rumians. I'm Drushnik. Thank you for being here and welcome to the first speed build that I've, well, ever done on the channel. And this speed build features the construction of the lemur habitat that you have been able to see on Blissful Kitty's channel. It came out just, uh, I think, a few hours ago, hopefully. That's kind of what I'm aiming for. And while I was building this, not not from the beginning, I, I thought I added... Um, I thought I had the recording on when I built the, um, well, it's not a dome, but the, the outer part, but uh, I, I did not. But I did put it on at the end of the build when I had to fill in some gaps here and there. I made a thumbnail out of it and then placed it in the uh, the save file that Kitty sent over. Um, and, and it had some, some glass panels missing. So I guess one of the first things I, uh, I want to talk about is that Thumbnails don't seem to work completely yet. Um, some of the glass panels were missing. Some of the, I guess this is cement, I think, or concrete, it's concrete. Some of the concrete panels that I'm putting in right here ha were missing. And um, yeah, I had, to, I had to fix some things around the habitat. Now the barriers themselves were fine. And the indoor part, of the habitat, as far as I had uh, done that, constructed that was was good too. It's just the outer 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 layer. Wow, words, and um, the gate that was not working properly. So, just a little bit of my thinking process that that went into creating this habitat. Now, I for those that don't know, I live in the Netherlands, and we have a zoo called Burgers Zoo. Burger Zoo. And this zoo is actually quite famous because the primatologist, uh, Franz de Waal, he was sort of trained there. And uh, it's a it's a very, very well-known zoo with, uh, with a big, I think, monkey habitat still, I think, uh, a monkey colony. And the, the other thing that they have is a very, very big desert dome, desert building. And that is what I wanted to recreate here. It, it, I didn't do the outside as it is in, in the actual real life suit. The building is a little bit more, not symmetrical, but a little bit more symmetrical than this one. Um, but I, you know, I figured I can, I can also make a glass building, sort of a glass house. And I wanted to make a desert out of it. Now, <laughs> when I had finished building the, the outer glass layer, I wanted to check the which animals I could put in that didn't need a whole lot of room because I thought I would be making several different habitats. Then I changed my mind and I thought, okay, maybe I should just put in animals that can go together. And I was looking in the Zoopedia and I was also checking the actual animals in uh, the desert area of Perso and I saw that they... <laughs> They did not overlap. So the animals that are in the desert area in Berhoso are different than the ones that we have in the game. So I had to change my plan. Now, as you can see, by the way, I'm, I'm putting in some steel beams here at the door, which are not climbable. Otherwise, oh, hello, Sienna. Now, how nice of you to, to stop by. Otherwise, the lemurs climb out of the front gate, which is not really what we want them to do. But anyway, so I had to change my plan. And so I figured, why not make a lemur habitat? So I really, really, really like lemurs. And I saw that we have two types of lemurs in this game. The uh, the red ruffed one and the ring-tailed one. <laughs> Thank you for making noise, doggy. That's that's great. You're allowed to because I'm recording a Planet Zoo video. Um, so, and they can go together, and they are friendly towards people walking through their habitat. What I didn't think through was that they can get very, very stressed when people actually walk through it. Now, as you can see here, what I'm doing is I just put in the path. I had uh, pretty much set in the blueprint what the um, the path was supposed to look like, so I could follow the climbing structure that I'd created for the lemurs. And I also made the staff path so that the uh, the staff can go in to the area very easily where they can feed them and take care of them. 
And then I made some uh, some exit areas for, um, uh, you know, new new enclosures. Um, so, yeah, but um, what was I talking about? Lemurs. No, I don't even remember what I was talking about. Really good job, Drushnik. Anyway, yeah, lemurs. So <laughs> lemurs live in packs and they allow for one male per species and multiple, obviously, females. Otherwise, I think they start fighting each other. So I took one red lemur and one ringtail lemur male, and the rest was all female. I couldn't make a huge pack just yet because they only have a few in the trading center at the same time or the, the market. So it is a thing. You need to come back to it and, and buy more. And then I thought in order to be able to unpause the game, I need and, and actually put the lemurs in without risking disease. I need a quarantine center and I need a vet or surgery. So I put in these two buildings next next to each other and I decided to, um, yeah, to make, <laughs> here I was figuring out how this works because the, um, the outside was not lining up with the doors. And I was like, how is that possible? Why is this not working? And then I, I figured I just need to, I just need to shift it over just a little bit. But, um, yeah, I wanted to make my own my own building. So following the um the staff house, I think structure that that kitty put down, I uh, I used wood mostly on the outside, and then a I think it's like a steel or not not steel, but with the roof is something steel ish. Um, and here I'm just copying things over and putting them down. And probably, yeah, that, that one. What is that? It's going too quickly. What? The speed builds are fast. But anyway, yeah, the roof. Uh, where does it say? I think it's going to come soon. Yeah, that one, that one. Oh, I, I, I didn't see the, um, the name. But anyway, yeah, that roof. And so I figured I didn't need the, the sideboards there, so I deleted them. And then I was like, hmm, I need some side skirts because otherwise it looks like a, like a pretty... Pretty ugly, empty roof. So I, uh, I added a, I added that, and then I still thought, you know what, that building looks kind of uh, empty. So we need, we need something. And uh, I was playing around with things that I could put on, and I was not happy with it. So I ended up picking a fence. And I think we'll see that soon. Uh, I put a fence, sort of. Is it a fence? I think it's fence. And I put that in as. Uh, why is the. Um... Oh, it was, it was not moving the screen. I guess I was I was distracted for a second. Um, I chose a fence that I used as as a rim, uh, but this is this is just for the window. And then later on, I decide to actually take it off. And here it doesn't really fit. I don't think. Yeah, so I don't use that. But I ended up adding these ones instead. So if you if you open the window and you put your head out the door, you don't you know you don't get wet if it's raining. We probably do, but. <laughs> Anyway, so um, I think here I'm looking for the fence. Yep, there we go. So it's like a trim of some sort. It's actually not a true fence, but I'm pretty sure you could use it as a fence. It just, it looks like a fence. But anyway, it's a, yeah, it's a decorative wall trim. So I figured I'd hang that on the, uh, on the, on the wall. And then I still wasn't quite happy with it. So had to add something else. But uh, yeah, if, if, you know, this is just the first real build that I did in Planet Zoo. And I, I did play Planet Coaster, but I was never really good at building. So uh, getting back into the, the building of things is, is kind of tricky, you know, and I'm still learning. I'm, I do not claim to be good at all because I'm not. But I do really enjoy it. It's just that, you know, I sometimes fear that I'm not really creative enough in a way. So I'm I'm trying and I'm doing my best. Uh, and I think here I decided, yeah, that window doesn't look very good. No, not yet. I'll do that later. But uh, yeah, I, I tried to add whatever I can and, and make it look a little pretty. So I added a little, a little wagon with some, I think they are tea boxes. And then some pots and pans. And what I'm essentially doing is mixing up styles because it started as African style uh, because of the lemur habitat. But then I think that some of the props are actually Indian of, of origin. So it ended up being a little bit of a mix of styles, which wasn't really what I was going for. But 
but <laughs> you're just playing around with thatched roofs. And I was like, no, 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 no. That looks, that looks absolutely horrible. <laughs> and then I put this, uh, this wind thing down and I didn't mean to, so I deleted it in a second. But, um, oh yeah. And then I found these boards and I was like, okay, that, that looks good. I just need something else to, to finish this, um, this roof. Oh, I guess this is wood. Hmm. This is wood. Anyway. Uh, yeah. So, so that's the building. It's a, it's like a mixture of styles, but you know, I'm not going to pretend that I know what I'm doing. I'm not going to pretend that I use one style only and know exactly what it looks like. I just build what I can and what I think is pretty. I do use the advanced build controls, which you can open up when you press X and then you can do some very, very cool things with the, um, the selection that you're on. So you can really do some precision placing if, if you do it well. So I tried to do that, but, uh, I'm, I'm really still learning. I'm, I'm still figuring out how everything works. And then <laughs> this is just terrible. It's pretty too big. And I was looking at, okay, what do I do? in this little area right right where I'm looking at. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna make a little bit of a nature scene so that when you're a guest and you know, you walk into the into the park, when you when you look right, you see the tortoises, and then when you look left, you need to see something pretty, something nature like, something that covers up the buildings just a little bit, but you can have you can have a little bit of a look through and see that there's a quarantine there and think, oh, that's where the new animals go, but you know, don't see too much because we don't want the animals to be stressed and we want the staff to have a little bit of privacy if, if we can help it. So I thought, you know, I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to make a bit of a nature scene. So that's what I did. I placed down some rocks and some shrubs and then I started placing down the trees. Um, and, uh, yeah, that was, it was, it was fun to do. It's also not really... I mean, I, I guess I'm a little bit better th at that than I am at building. Uh, but I don't always know if if it really looks good. So I have to, you know, really look carefully and see if, if what I'm doing actually makes sense. Now, I I did add some buildings. Uh, sorry, sorry, I didn't add buildings. I added some trees and uh, some fencing later. And... Um, that was that enabled me to unpause the game and make sure that we can look at the lemurs. So the other thing that I want to mention before I stop talking and and allow you to watch the speed build to the end with some hopefully some nice music uh, is the the lettering that I did at the end. You can see the lettering later. I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, that also is from the Planet Coaster time where we didn't actually have proper letters, so you had to make your own from basically from uh, from what are they called? I can't help me. I can't think of the word. Well, from things <laughs> you needed to make letters from things, and that's what I did here. And then. I saw what Kitty had built, and I saw that she actually used real letters. And I, I saw in some other videos uh, of Planet Zoo that people are using letters. So apparently there are proper letters in this game, and they are very, very pretty. So I am going to switch out the, the letters that I made for the lemur habitat with uh, the other letters, because mine just aren't that nice, and they're very, very big, as you'll see in a, in a, in a bit. And, um, yeah, I do really want them to look pretty. So that's one thing that I'm going to change. And if you've, if you've looked at the episode that came out on Kitty's channel already, you'll probably have already heard this discussion between Kitty and myself. So you already know that. So what are my thoughts going forward? I'm going to try to make speed builds of, of my part of, uh, building the park. And I'm going to try to upload them for you and talk a little bit about what I'm doing and why. If you like this sort of thing, let me know, because this is completely new for me. So this is the first time I've done this. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm learning. So I'm, I'm having fun. Whenever I learn, I have fun. So let me know how you enjoy it. And if you have specific requests, if you would like me to explain something, talk about something. Uh, yeah, just, just, just let me know. And I'm happy to see if I can help you or, or, or do what you asked. And um, you know. 
give you a good experience here. So yeah, um, let me know in the, in the comments section. And for now, I am going to stop talking and let the video and hopefully some music and nice scenic scenes do the rest. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.